guys welcome back to my channel times up jamaica i'm your girl Bri Bri, and i'm here to discuss a few topics with us with you today the first one is the clansman trial it's getting real heated um many of you may not know but the judge has ruled that all the recordings that the gangs had between each other will be admissible in court Hence, the recordings are there. So I'm going to play a clip for you that you can listen. The conversation between the alleged gangsters was played in open court. Yo, what about? There, me a try VG, but him look like him batch it dead. Yeah, man, batch it dead. At this point, the witness positively identified one of the voices on the tape as, quote, Citipus. Citipus is listed in court documents as the alias of one of the 33 defendants in the trial, Jason Brown. G is listed as the alias of the alleged leader of the gang, Andre Blackman Bryan. The Chief Justice then ordered a case management conference and defendants were led out of the court. The trial has been adjourned until 10 tomorrow morning when the prosecution will continue to play the recordings. Ricardo Brooks for Nationwide News. Okay, so now that we hear that recording, now the number one witness in the trial, he was he was reporting from an unknown location, from a re remote location because he was in um protective custody, I guess you can call it. Yes, he didn't want them to know who he was. Even though I figured they knew who he was. But surprisingly, at the trial yesterday, he requested that the judge allowed him to enter the courtroom and to speak and to identify his accusers. Because he was saying that he heard the voices and he recognized one as Citipus and the other as Stephanie and another one as Biggs. But he wanted to see them in person, I guess. I don't know his reason. The judge was surprised and the judge asked him, are you saying you want to come in this courtroom? And he said, yes. The judge was, you know, surprised. So the judge said it wasn't his decision to make. It was up to the prosecutor and the defense. So both the prosecutor and the defense, they went into discussion as to whether or not they would allow him to, you know, enter the court. And the judge, I guess, adjourned the court until later to see what would happen. But... As he, 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 this witness is very important, and I say this to say that he infiltrated the gang so well, and he got so much information on them. At one point, he was able to allow a member from the CTOC, that's a special unit from the police, to enter with him on an app. And he told the police that, he told the gang members that this officer was his uncle. So they believed that the officer was his uncle. And the officer was able to see how they operate with the guns. Because someone was able to bring a gun in and the, the coins, which are the bullets and all of that. And he was able also to do a lot of recordings on a phone and three phones that were provided to him by the CTOC department. And each time the phone memory was full, he would download the information to them and then start the app once more. So it's very important. He said at one point he had to bleach his skin, color, color his hair so that he would not be noticed by the members as they were in odd pursuit of him. Because, you know, they want his head. Literally. So, he was, he was, you know, the, the judge was 
amazed at the fact that he requested to be inside the courtroom because all along he said he was afraid and he's still afraid but he has made up his mind i guess that if he if he dies he dies i guess so that was it but to later proceedings it is said that the recordings were off to a good start they started hearing recordings of Muma, which is Stephanie, and his undying and unwavering support of the clansman gang. What he what he what she would have done for them. Yes, it was stated in the court documents. And I'm going to play a recording for you of the support that Stephanie had for the gang. For the for especially for black man, she was very very loyal to black man. She was willing to forfeit a portion of her salary to have members getting legal representation. Yes, that's her. And here's a recording I'm going to play for you guys. I want you to listen. Are your career this? You're in a this? You're eat out of this? Have other program so them up and bad mind the thing and scrape for yourself. It a deteriorate. Man, now the road will look no side for a battle. There were chuckles in the courtroom as the prosecution quoted aspects of the expletive laden conversation when posing questions to the witness. The witness explained that Citipus was outlining plans to rid the gang of the older members and train youngsters to become killers. He also explained that Citipus was concerned that the gang was deteriorating because individual members were trying to form their own gangs. He says the alleged gang member captured on the recording was concerned that not enough gangsters were finding additional sources of income for the gang to exploit. According to the witness, the gang operated on a system where a done for an area would determine who gets hired when persons from that area were doing construction developments. He says the don would go to the homeowner and inform them that they are to only hire two persons and the don would hire the rest. In the recording, Muma explains her rank among the alleged gangsters and spoke of the gang's effort to recruit new talent. Remember saying to me as a woman, I'm afraid for going away. Remember saying I'm sick and in command, Tina Brown. I'm not just squeeze eye, but he's a boy who work. And the important thing is, we need a driver. And him carry me go places hours a night and pick me up, man, and drop me off, man. And him could have done me things, and him never do that. Also in the recordings, rivalry between alleged warring gangsters attempting to overtake a house in a Spanish town community. Cooks were there, so you are winning already, you know. Because the people then they left them in charge and them the people that now look for comeback here, so to the lawyer dead, then they want to take the place, put them dark at night. A people place them war. Hear me, so no. Make them know say so somebody have to call them and make them know what time it is. Them can't use them style up and way. Get the number and make we chat to them. Cause the man them need somebody said we. Cause from call them and tell them, say oh, Lucifer, I throw me on a wing now. I bullies him thing with the pan right now. The witness explained to the court that Citipus would use the name Lucifer when he approached people for extortion money. He says by saying he had no wings now, Citipus, who he says was behind bars at the time, meant he had no access to a cell phone. The trial resumes at 10 this morning. Nora Gay Banton for Nationwide News. Thank you, guys. Now you have an understanding of what we are talking about. This is getting real, real hot. And I promise you, as the trial goes on with the transcript, with all the texts and the voice messages, I'll bring them to you because I love trials. I love trials. And this is a trial of the century for Jamaica. I hope the prosecution gets it right and nail them all. On to our next topic. I stumbled upon a little thing with... Mr. Meadows and Crystal Tomlinson. Now, as you know, Mr. Meadows is in hot water with the FLA, with the gun 
you know, the gun thingy that they have in now, where they're throwing darts at each other, Mr. Dallins and Mr. Meadows. For me, I think both of them are guilty and they should just throw them all out. We're well, in jail. But you know, guys, I was thinking if we can get a simple bird eye view at the FLA and there's so much unnecessary scandal, can you imagine the other departments like the education department, Petrodrum, the things that we could uncover? I mean, the government sector, the people who are there to serve us are so corrupt and dishonest. I don't even care for them. But let's see what Mr. Meadows have to say to Crystal Tomlinson. It would appear that she has criticized him for, because I, I can go to the part where she said that Mr. Meadows is struggling to sound honest in this interview with Cliff, that is Cliff Hughes. Now, Mr. Meadows went on to say, like you, struggle to remain baby mother number 13. As you know, Crystal Tomlinson was pregnant for being a man and people categorized her as baby mother number 13. That's not a good look, but let's move on. He was saying that she struggled to remain baby mother number 13, but failed miserably. My effort was not to convince the likes of you. It's a futile effort to convince those fixed on finding a reason not to believe you. And we can see another article that is saying that Jamaica Twitter users are criticizing seasoned attorney and former government senator Dennis Meadows for what they call an unnecessary misogynistic attack on People's National Party member Crystal Tomlinson. And someone at the bottom that was defending Mr. Meadows said that she too enough as the opposition. That's all she had to say. He, he said nothing wrong within the culture of Jamaica has a trying to be MP. She could a try have a youth in a most she could a try have a youth in a more structured and more exemplary way, you know. That's so how we write. And there we have a few persons who are really spanking him. You have persons saying that she clear him like a methanol crystal. Methyl crystal does the sinus by. The next person that is bad girl Cecile was saying he asked for it. Poor man gonna get it now. He should have never said what he said. And we have our favorite there, Dalton Harris saying, hey, she marked him like an exam paper, you know. Present Miss Mania Man. And another one saying very much out of order. That's what he gets for minding the business that doesn't pay him bright. And they were saying this is what Crystal said first. Dennis, she responded to his um quote stating about she's been um struggled to be in a baby mother number 13. She said, Dennis, my vagina. And reproductive choices aren't your business. The FLA was your business. Being diligent, fair, and accountable in executing your duties was your business. If you had off half the passion for your work as you do my body, you wouldn't be struggling to address the allegations. Damn. Wow, she got him there. She got him, she got him, she got him. And then she went on to say, you have been part of the pejorative, pejorative mean dismissive and the meaning chorus. So do not parade any ethical position while mentioning my handle. When you discuss my body and my child, your stomach is steeled and solid. Forget to block, forget to block, forgot to block you, but there's no time like the present. So course she's gonna go on to block mr meadows well guys that's it for today i would like you to comment below tell me what you think of the topics you can speak about the clansman trial or you can tell me what you think about dennis and crystal throwing barbs at each other comment below i'd like to hear from you continue to like share and subscribe 
to my channel. See you soon. Bye.